Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a silverfish statue. I wonder how many of you guys were in the same position as I was. I hadn't even seen one of these things until I had to Google image it for this video. How crazy is that? If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You'll only be needing these three colours. Grab yourself some black wool, some dark grey, and finally, some light grey wool. Once you have all three of those colours right there, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here, you'll want to kick this off with a row of three light grey in a row on the floor. That's three light grey. So one, two, three. Once you have your row of free light grey, this is what you want to do next. Going on top of your free light grey, going from left to right, you just want to do this little sequence of colours. Do yourself one black wool, one light grey, and one black wool. Very easy. That is the face of our silverfish. And by the way, I know a lot of you guys like to know where the front of statues and houses and such are. It's kind of up in the air at the moment. This is going to be the front of the statue for me, but equally so, you could just start building this way as well. So I know a lot of you guys like to know that information just for statue placement and all of that. So once you've got those two rows taken care of right there, this is what you want to do next. Behind your two rows of free, you want to do two rows of free light grey. So you want to have something which should look like that. Just do two rows of free light grey. And then, behind this back row of free light grey, this is what you want to do. Do a row of five light grey, so like this. And the row of five pretty much just wants to overextend each side the row of three by one. So you just want to have something which should look like that. And once you've done your first row of five, you want to do another row of five directly behind it. So you want to have two rows of five like this. What you then want to do is take your two rows of five and you want to throw two layers of light gray directly on top of them. So you want to have something which should end up looking a little bit like this, a nice rectangular shape. Once you've done that to your two rows of five, this is what you want to do next. You want to do a row of seven behind the back row of five. And again, your row of seven should just be basically your row of five, throw one on each end like that. Once you've done your first row of seven, you want to do three more directly behind it. So one, two, three. So you want to have in total four rows of seven light gray. What you then want to do is stack three more rows of light gray directly on top of each one of those rows. So that's three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. And finally, one, two, three. Three. So you want to do that to each one of your four rows of seven. And each one of your four rows of seven just wants to be four blocks high. So just to give you guys a little bit of a side view, this is how it's shaping up. Pretty simple. Once you've taken care of all of those rows of seven, this is what you want to do next. So now we're actually reducing a little bit. Behind this back row of seven, you want to do another row of five. So you just want to knock one off of each end of your row of seven like that. Once you've done your first row of five, you want to do two more. So you want to have in total three rows of five. On top of each one of your rows of five, you want to add two layers of light gray. So you just want to have something which should end up looking a little bit like this. Very easy. And once you've taken care of all three rows of your five light gray, this is what you want to do next. Coming out of the back row of your row of five, you want to do a row of three. And then you want to do one more behind it. And on top of each one of those two rows of three, you just want to add an extra layer of light grey. So you just want to have something which should look like this. Once you've taken care of that, this is what you want to do next. Coming out from the back of your back row of three, you want to do another row of three. And then you want to do one more. So you want to have two rows of three directly behind each other. And this time you don't want to add any light grey on top of them. You just want to have those two single rows of three. And then what you want to do is take out your black wool. And coming out of this back middle block right here, you just want to do two black wool coming back towards, well, 
out of the back of your statue, and once you've finished that, you should end up with something that should look a little bit like this, to give you guys a side view. And now to give you guys a top view, I really want you guys to see what this is supposed to shape up as. It kind of reminds me of a hedgehog, it'll look even more like one once we add all of the spines. It, it looks absolutely nothing like a fish, it's absolutely bizarre. So this is what you want to have for the body of your silverfish so far. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've taken care of that, it's now time for us to add some spines. So come to the front of your silverfish, and this is what we're going to do. With this first row of five that we have here, like this little archway of five that we have here, we're just going to be adding little bits of dark grey, starting with this top left-hand corner of your archway. So going left of this block, you want to do one dark grey. And then upright diagonally from there, another one. Then up left diagonally from there, another one, so you just want to have this. Then coming to the middle of our row of five, you want to do two dark grey coming directly up from the centre. I made a little bit of a mistake there. Two coming directly up from the centre. Then coming over to the right hand side, going right of this corner block, you just want to do a single one. And going up on top of the corner block, you just want to do two dark grey. So you want to have something which should look a little bit like that. That is the first layer of spines that you have to do. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've taken care of that, we can move on to set number two. Set number two is situated all the way around the first layer of a row of seven, so all the way around here. And it's going to be kind of hard to see from the front, so I'm going to give you guys a nice back view once I've actually finished this. So, starting from the top left-hand corner again, you want to do this. Do one block coming out from left of that corner, then do an up left diagonal from that block, then an up right diagonal, then a bottom right diagonal. So you just want to have kind of like an empty plus shape like that. Then, starting from this right-hand block, do an upright diagonal, go up by one, then do another upright diagonal, then do a bottom right diagonal, and go down by two, one, two. Then, from the bottom block, you just want to extend the bottom block out either side by one to give you this sort of shape. Again, it's kind of difficult to see from the front view as we've got the first row of spines blocking it. Once you've taken care of that, you want to come all the way over to the right-hand side, starting from this bottom block here. Do a dark grey coming out from the right of that bottom side. Then, miss one, going up, and then do another one, coming out from the right, so here. Then, do an upright diagonal, followed by two up-left diagonals, so one, two, which will give you something which should look like this. I, I love how the pig's getting involved, trying to make my job easy. Please go, pig. So that's what you want to have. Let me show you that from the back view as, again, just to reiterate, it's kind of hard to see from the front. You know what? It's not that easy to see from the back either, although you can see this right side. So that's what you want to have for the right side in a reverse view. And this is what you want to have for the left side, which was pretty easy to see. Again, the pig's getting involved. I, I like his enthusiasm, but unfortunately for us, he's just not needed. Once you've taken care of that second layer of spines, this is what you want to do next. So... Coming to this row of, yeah, it's our second layer of our rows of five. Starting from the middle section of our row of five, this is what you want to do. You're on the left-hand side here, looking at it from the back, and you want to do a single dark grey coming out of the bottom and out of the top, like that. Then, coming up to the top, you want to place a dark grey coming up from the middle block of your middle row of five. And then coming over to the right-hand side, you want to have a dark grey coming out of the top of the right block. And then going up by one like this. So you just want to have something which should look like that. Quite simple. Once you've taken care of that third layer of spikes, this is what you want to do next. And I know it's getting ever so slightly dark, but there's very little to do. So, coming to the first row of three that we have at the back here, starting from this right block, you just want to do a single dark grey going right, and then an upright diagonal from that block. That is all you have to do with that layer. Now, coming to the very back of our statue where we have this little flat part, this is what you want to do. On top of this block right here, do two dark grey coming directly up. And then, going left of the bottom block of your dark grey, do two dark grey going left. One, 
too. So you just want to have something which should look a little bit like this. The pig really is making it easy. Ah, oh, Mojang. Mojang, Mojang, Mojang. So that is what you want to have for the final layer of spikes. I'm going to be back in a moment to show you this in the daytime so you can actually see what we've done back in a moment. So just to show you guys what we've just done last again with those b -b 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 six dark grey blocks, that's all you had to do, very simple. Once you've taken care of those, you have successfully completed your silverfish. That's right, look at him. Look how weird he is. Such an absolutely bizarre design. If you would have told me that this is supposed to be some sort of weird looking hedgehog, I would have believed you. Looks absolute, absolutely nothing like a fish. And I'm not entirely sure how you even... How you even find them. Like, the very few brief times that I've ventured into survival, I've never ever came across one. I know you're supposed to be able to break silverfish stone or something and then they come out, but that's never happened. Not when I've done it. I don't know. But hopefully you guys have exactly what I'm looking at on the screen. Hopefully you guys have your very own finished silverfish statue. It's one of the easier ones to do. Hopefully you had an easy enough time making it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. I have no idea what I'll be doing next. Maybe I'll do a house. <laughs>